TLS 1.0 and TLS 1.1 are both old and insecure. You need to get rid of both. Quick search of Google and you'll find several reasons to get rid of older versions of TLS. They're end of life, they're insecure, and you need to get rid of it as soon as possible. I did a quick search and found the site SSL.com which will show you how to disable both in Apache and in Nginx, the web server. Now they talk about using some download tools if your server is exposed to the internet, but I'm going to look at this option here to use Nmap to test your server to see what version of TLS it's running. Now you have to know what port it's running on. Most SSL servers are running on port 443. So I'm going to use the nmap command, and I know that I have um, an Apache server running on a Debian box. That nmap command will tell me the versions of TLS that I'm running. This one's got 1.2. 1.1 and 1.0 and it'll show you all the ciphers that it's using. It also gives you a grade for the ciphers. Uh, the ones with the A are good. Um, if you got C or below, uh, those are bad ciphers. You want to get rid of those too. I also have Another server running on a CentOS stream box. And for that box, it's only running TLS version 1.2 with all of these ciphers. And lastly, I have a Windows box running IS. That one's running TLS 1.2.1.1 and version 1.0. So what we want to do is disable the TLS that's running on all these boxes. So if I scroll down here, they're telling you how to disable it in Apache. And since it's running on a Debian box that I have, I need to modify this file. So I will copy that. Switch over to my Debian box. You can use VI, you can use Nano, uh, whatever text editor that you like. I've got that file open in my editor, and the line that I'm looking for is this SSL protocol. SSL protocol. In VI, you do a colon slash. No, in VI, you do a slash, and then what you're looking for. And there it has SSL protocol. It says all protocols but not SSL version three, which is the older protocol. So here are the available options that I have. So in this case, to turn off TLS version one, put the minus sign and TLS V1. 
I'll put the minus sign and TLS V1.1. And I will save that. And I need to restart Apache. What is it called? Apache 2? No, it's called Apache 2, so I have to restart it. Uh, once I've restarted it there, I go back to run the nmap command. So this is 101. And you'll see here that it's now only running TLS version 1.2. And it's running it with all the ciphers. Now, if you want to get rid of some of these ciphers, you can. But I'm only looking at uh, disabling TLS right now. Now, if you're running virtual host under Apache, you'll have to look at the configuration file for all those virtual hosts to make sure they don't have individual SSL protocol sections. Uh, going down to my Nginx configuration. Um, it says it's usually in the Nginx comp file. So I will go to my... I've got a CentOS stream box running Nginx. You'll see here under SSL protocols, I've got 1.2, 1.3, and version 1. I would simply take out the version 1 in this instance. And just for reference, the current version of Nginx, this one is 1.14.1. Uh, it ships with the ciphers set to system and it disables all the insecure ciphers so i've got that set to 1.2 and 1.3 and i need to save that and then restart nginx And I'll switch back over and I'll run that nmap command on the 10.90 host. Might be faster to just type it in. Again, it runs and it comes back and it's only running TLS version 1.2, which is what I want. Okay, now switching over to Windows, it's a little bit different. Um, when you're doing this under Windows, it's normally going to be a registry entry that you have to make. And you can do a Google search for that. You'll find several entries, but I'm just going to use this one as an example. I'm going to take the registry entries that they have listed here. I'm going to copy them to a Windows system. When I find that Windows system, which is there. It has to be a reg file because you're going to run regedit against it. So you rename the file, the extension to reg. Say yes. And then you double click that reg file. It asks you if you're sure. You say yes. It says it can't. Not we can import a virus file from the registry editor. Uh, I may have left out that top section. 
And I did leave out the top section, so I have to go back. Get this right here. Where is it at? It's here. And let me put that at the top of the file. This time when I run it, it says it has been successfully added to the registry. I hit OK. And on Windows, you have to reboot. And after doing a few updates, Windows is rebooted. Go back to my Nmap screen. Run Nmap against that server. And it's only running the TLS 1.2 right now. And remember, when you're disabling TLS, you have to test every application on the system that you're disabling TLS on. On Windows, it's a global setting, so you have to test every application that's running. And remember, go ahead and click the like button below, hit subscribe, turn on the notifications, and you can find out when new videos have been uploaded. Thank you for watching.